Was it a well-intentioned mercy mission or a disastrous mistake? We join the search for the missing orca baby. But next, we're at sea in search of the missing orca. Can't be confident that we'll find her immediately, but I have good faith that we'll find her eventually. What is it about marine mammals that brings out the caring gene in us? You see, every time whales or orcas, which are, of course, from the dolphin family, every time they get stranded, people want to do something. Well, no one knows the orcas better than Ingrid Visser. But her handling of a baby orca stranded and separated from its family has caused some criticism. The baby was rescued, then released off Takapuna Beach, the opposite side of the island from where it was found. Now, this according to Associate Professor Liz Sluton, an Otago University marine mammal biologist, was the wrong call, as it wouldn't be able to survive on its own. Well, today I headed out, courtesy of the Northern Region Coast Guard, to join the search for the missing baby. Well, if you can call a four-year-old a baby, we had no luck, but in the same waters, Ingrid Visser and her team had also been searching. So how's it gone today, Ingrid? Well, we had a lot of reports of orca in the area yesterday and today. And yesterday we were very successful. We found a big group between 8 to 15 animals, including lots of animals that I knew and a brand new baby. Uh, but today we couldn't find them everywhere. We've been following them. Uh, we just didn't get there in time. Ingrid and the team will continue tomorrow and hope to get a tip-off from boaties. Well, the search, of course, continues. Then, of course, so does the debate over whether we've got it right and how we deal with young stranded orcas. With me now, Orca Research, Research Trust founder, Dr Ingrid Visser, and from Doc, Carl McLeod, and in Christchurch, Otago University, marine mammal biologist, Associate Professor Liz Sloten. Professor Sloten, was this the wrong call? It's um, difficult to say. I mean, life is not a controlled experiment, so only time will tell whether it was or wasn't the right call. But there are a number of considerations that, um, that you might think about. If this happened again, for example, on the west coast in the Manukau Bar, then it might be better to leave the animal on the west coast and in the Manukau Harbour until either the wet weather settles so that it can be released on the west coast or the orca group comes in and, and rejoins with that in individual. So taking it to the other coast is taking a risk in terms of separating it from its group and um, putting it in a situation where it might be disoriented. Look, Ingrid, for, for someone who doesn't know anything about this, I mean, I, I'll put my hands up straight away, <laughs> but it, it does seem odd that you would, you would rescue an orca on one side of the island and you'd release it on the other. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, from, from the outside it does look like that, but there was a lot of consideration given to the situation uh, and Carl will talk to you about some of those but from a biological point of view you know I, I was completely confident that we did the right thing absolutely you were there too Carl I mean you, you yeah I, the decision. I definitely was in the thick of it and if I could just quickly put you in the picture Mark we were on the west coast of Auckland it was severe and very savage weather it was bitterly cold we were an hour off dark and we had a lot of staff out there and volunteers and we had a, a really distressed and stranded whale and we really had no choice in, in front of us other than to um, stabilize the animal get her onto a trailer and get, get her off that bit of coastline because she wasn't going to survive the night. What happens when, it, when an orca gets distressed? Oh, well, she goes through a whole lot of biological distresses and, you know, Ingrid yeah. might be able to speak to we, that. We had a heart rate monitor on her to try and keep an eye on how she was handling things and uh, she did really, really well once we'd got her stabilised, for sure. Professor Slayton, I mean, is it an exact science? I mean, are there, are there set rules, if you like, in terms of dealing with every situation? No, so uh, this is not an exact science and there is no right or wrong answer to this particular question. So I think rather than sort of saying was this the right decision or was it the wrong decision, I think it's more productive to talk about what happened, what would we do the next time, what are the considerations, you know, what it, would it be better to release it on the west coast? I would think yes. So under what sorts of conditions would that be possible? And where would you draw the line and say no, now we're going to release it on the other coast? Um, so it would be interesting to hear from the other people uh, what sorts of things went through their minds when they were making the decision and would they do the same thing again and what would they do differently next time. 
Mm. Would you do the same thing again? Absolutely, in a heartbeat, without a doubt. Um, we had helicopters up there looking for uh, the orca, that sh the group that she came from. We had people doing ground patrols. We flew in by helicopter. Carl flew in by helicopter. We saw no orca. I'd had no reports of orca on that coast for a couple of weeks, but we had heard of orca on this coast. So we figured that was her best chance. And trying to get her to go out through that bar, Mark, it was just really really dangerous if we'd been able to accompany her in a boat we wouldn't have been able to get out there either look i don't think anyone doubts uh, the commitment of all three of you mm, um, mm, uh, to, to marine to marine mammals yeah. but did you sort of take it were you hurt if you like that that, that your actions were, were were questioned no no absolutely i don't have any i don't have any qualms about people questioning what went on is their right um, but I know that we made the right decision Carl and I with a whole lot of people on the beach um, went through the pros and cons we made lists we wrote them down we discussed it we had a long and careful dialogue about it it was a collaborative collaborative decision and you know it was not a decision made lightly um, we realized there was gonna be a bit of risk to the animal but basically it wouldn't have survived if we didn't relocate it from the situation will it, it was. survive now I believe so yes otherwise I wouldn't have done it mark yeah, and no, I think that's the same for you, right, Carl? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Professor Sloten, do you think good, good chance question. of survival, do you think? Well, that's a very good question, and I think um, looking to the future, obviously that's a really important issue, is how are we going to follow up this um, orca, how are we going to find out where it goes, whether it meets up with its group again. So uh, I hope that there's um, some people putting in time to, to see what happens now and to make it a learning experience. Mm. Professor Sloden, uh, Carl and Ingrid, look, thanks both. I know you've got to get out searching again tomorrow. Absolutely. We really appreciate you coming in and all of you keep up the fantastic work. Thank you. Thank Cheers, you, guys. Thank